Welcome to this video on how to use this One Nation One Subscription scheme provided by Government of India. This scheme is a great gift to all the students, researchers and faculty members of all the central government and state government higher education institutions as well as research and development institutions of central government. So how to use it? First of all, you have to get your institute registered if not already registered on the ONOS portal. Then the users can register themselves and after they are registered, the admin of the institute will have to verify all these users after which they will be able to access the journals. So this ONOS schemes covers most of the high ranking and very high impact factor research papers and journals which the research community will be able to access. So in the first step, you can see the you have to go to this website, the onos.gov.in and you have to click on the institute registration and the further steps I will be showing through images. So this is the website and in this register section, you will see institute registration, clicking on which you will be redirected to this page. Here you will have to put the ISHIC code of your institute, which is a unique identification code of all the um, higher education institutions and universities in India. So if you don't know, you can get it from this ISHA.gov.in website. For example, this engineering college, Rajki Engineering College Manpuri, which is a state government college in Uttar Pradesh, has this ISHA code. Uh, after filling which, you will be redirected to this institute registration page and clearly you can see it is written you are not eligible. So uh, here you will have to fill all the details of your institute and the librarian or nodal officer designated by the institute. So once uh, their email ID is put, the official email ID of the nodal officer, they will get an OTP filling uh, which you will be registering your institute on the ONOS portal. So after registration is complete, once the nodal officer logins on the website as an admin, if it is showing that your institute is not registered or it is not eligible, then you have to contact the ONOS support. The support contacts are already provided on the website and here also I have given them. You have to contact through email or phone uh, maybe you will have to send them some official letters proving that you are a government institute or university and then they will be supporting you with all the documents they need and also uh, it might take two to three weeks for this process to complete. This problem may not arise if you are a central government institute, especially the institute of national importance like IITs or NITs. But uh, if you are a state government institute or university, you might face some delays but it will ultimately be uh, done. So after the institute registration is complete, the users of the institute will be able to register themselves on the portal and uh, I will show how they can do it. They will click on this user registration again through this registration link and they will select their state and college and then they will fill up all their details whatever details they have as a member of that institute and they will have to use their institute email id that is very important so after which they will register themselves and after this process is complete they will be verified by the admin through their admin login after which the users will be able to access the journals so if you want to access any journal uh, you will just have to go on that journal or the article and then you will have to sign in as institutional sign in after which you will be provided the access through the institution. So what institute you will select? You will not select your college. You will select this ONOS Inflibnet Center as your institute. So I will show you some images and then it will be clear to you how you can use it. So for example, um, if I have to download this paper through IEEE transactions, I will just have to institute sign in through this ONOS and then I will be redirected to this uh, login page on which I will use the same login credential I have created uh, during the registration on the ONOS portal user registration and then after I log in I will be able to 
see that access is provided by ONOS and then I will be able to download the paper. So I will show you a few things like uh, which are the publishers provided by the ONOS scheme. Here as you can see all of the major highly ranked international journals are provided here. For example, IEEE journals for uh, this ASC for civil engineering researchers and then you can see Springer Nature. Some of the main journals are still in the process of uh, uh, getting online on the ONOS portal but still you are getting a lot of journal access already. So suppose if I have to download this paper, if I click on this link, they will redirect me to login and uh, I can log in through my institute here. As you can see, I will just write ONOS and you will see this option. Once you click this option, since I have already registered on the ONOS, it will automatically be signed in and you can see the access is provided by ONOS and now I will be able to download this paper. So this is how you can um, use the ONOS portal to access all kind of research papers. And with this, I thank you and wish you all the best. Thank you very much.